Chandu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of White King Granulated Soap present for your enjoyment tonight and every weekday evening at this time, Chandu, the magician. Listen, and you will travel to strange lands. You will thrill to high adventure, romance, mystery. The magic of Cairo and Baghdad in the East with their strange secrets and mysterious ways will hold you spellbound as our story unfolds. You will come to love this drama as it is played against a backdrop of oriental color and intrigue. And just as you will like our story, so will you like the soap we make. White King Granulated Soap. It is so easy on hands that thousands and thousands of ladies say it's just like magic. There are many tales told on the radio, but only one, Chandu. There are many soaps on your grocer's counters, but none like White King. You will love White King granulated soap. And when you buy White King tomorrow, save the box top and tell your friends to save White King box tops too. Now, let the play begin. In Cairo, Roxo returns to his rooms, jubilant over having used his newly perfected gas to kill Frank Chandler and Princess Naji in the hidden room in the pyramid. Then, almost at once, two of Roxor's Arabs bring in Bob Regent. But as Roxor attempts to question Bob, Chandler suddenly appears and vanishes, taking Bob with him. Now, a few moments later, Chandler and Bob have come into the drawing room of Naji's house. It is long after midnight. Chandu, the magician. I don't get this. I thought we were going to the hotel. After what happened tonight, we decided to come back here. You'll have the room you had when we first came here to stay. Oh. Well, for Pete's sake, why aren't you and Betty more excited? You act like nothing had happened at all. Here I've been dragged all over town, and Roxor told me Uncle Frank was dead. A slight exaggeration. Where's Najee? Is she okay, too? Of course she is. She'll be down pretty soon, and you'll see. But, but I don't... You want me to tell you why we weren't all wringing our hands when you and Uncle Frank walked in? I sure do. I feel like the prodigal son fell backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you, that's why. Huh? In the crystal, silly, at the hotel. Uncle Frank and Najee just come back from the pyramids. When you didn't come in with them, oh, you should have seen Uncle Frank. I did see him. Thanks, chum. Don't mention it. I don't mean that, Bob. Oh, I know what you mean, Beth. Look, Mom, you didn't think I'd done some dumb thing like going back up to the pyramid, did you? Let's not talk about it anymore. It's late and it's time for bed. Oh, I'm not sleepy. How could I be? Gosh, I, I was just standing there looking up the road when, when boom, those two guys showed up and grabbed me. Well, we'll talk it over in the morning, dear. Oh, let's not go to bed yet, Mother. We don't even know how Uncle Frank and Najee got out of that place under the pyramid. Roxor said he broke a tube of poison gas or something all over the floor. He was so furious he didn't know what he was doing, Bob. There were two small tubes lying there among the chemical apparatus. And he picked up one and he smashed it on the floor just as he went out. Holy Moses, you must have worked fast. Well, what happened? Nothing. Nothing? A little cloud of white smoke came up. That was all. See, Bob? He magicked it. <laughs> Not at all, Betty. Roxor got the wrong tube. But then... If the other one was full of poison gas, too, somebody else might happen on those rooms just as we did. Or worse still, Roxor might get his chance to use it and kill a whole bunch of people. He won't. Nadia and I brought it away with us. Oh, Frank, why? <laughs> where is it? In a good, safe place, sealed up tight. Jeepers, where? Well, what do you think Nadia's been doing all this time? She told me she was going to change her dress. Well, she didn't want to upset you, Don. She's really gone down to the big room she calls the crypt, under the house, to put that tube away. And the formula, too. So, for the moment, that's that. Well, I don't see what good it did to take the tube of that stuff. Roxor can make more. Not without the formula. It was in the room, too. He left it in the one place he thought nobody'd look. The sarcophagus. Exactly, Dot. Well, suppose we oh, all... But Frank, you can't keep that deadly thing. You just can't. No, we can't do anything else. I certainly can't break it open. But you could... And think. We've got hold of one of Roxor's most important weapons. Without the sample and the formula... It could take him years to perfect it again. And in the meantime... Uh, this sounds kind of crude, but... But if Roxor has a gas that would kill a whole city, well, why would he waste it on just you and Najee? 
When he gets into one of his rages, Bob, he doesn't think. That's the only explanation I know. You're just being modest. I'd bet he'd think it was worth it to get rid of you. Oh, Betty, you can think more gruesome thoughts than any child I ever saw. Well, don't you think he would? I mean... I know what you mean, and it's time for bed. You too, Bob. You'll be sleepy enough in the morning when it's time to get up. No, none of you need get up early. I'll be gone long before oh. you... Out of Cairo? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't I tell you, Dot? I have to go away for a day or so on business. Oh. I know you don't like to have me keep asking you, but are you going somewhere you think Robert might be? I wish I could tell you I was. Well, who on earth could that be at this time of night? I'd better go and see him. Servants are surely all in bed. But Nodja keeps a man at the gate all night. I'll be back in a moment. Who is it? I must speak to him. They call Chandu. Who is it? I am Abdallah, the Bedouin. Oh, it is you, Chandu. When they told me at the hotel you had gone, Just I... a minute. I have much to say to you. I beg you, let me come in. I have no weapon. Then how did you get past the man at the gate? When I said I must speak to you, he waited only to take my knife before All him. right. The princess will deal with him. Come in. When you have heard what I have come to say, Chandu, you will not regret it. That will depend on what it is. Who was it, Frank? How dumb! What's he doing here? Why did you let him in? He says he has something to tell me. Betty, you and Bob had better go upstairs. Why? I'd sure like to hear... Your mother, what... you don't think I'm afraid of him, do you? Well, just the same, I'd rather you went upstairs. Sister of Chandu, I am under the roof of the princess. What of it? Well, he means, Bob, that it's a disgrace for an Arab to harm anyone in the house where he's a guest. But uh, run along, you and Betty. Okay. Well, all right. I don't see why we have to be sent to bed like children. All right, Abdullah. Let's have it. Chandu, hear me. I have come to help you. All my men are at your word. Did Roxor think I'd believe you because you came here in the middle of the night? I do not come from Roxor. I am in his service no longer. You don't believe that, Frank? Not for a minute. So if that's all, Abdullah, I we'll... speak the truth. Chandu, hear my words. I beg you. Well, in my land, I am a prince. For many centuries, my fathers have been rulers of men. Caravans bearing treasures of ivory and rubies and perfume have filled our chests with gold. No man has called himself our master. Roxo tried offering me a bribe tonight. I'm not interested. I speak for myself, not for Roxo. All this treasure is yours, Chandu. All my men, skilled in fighting, all my racing camels, my swift horses, the finest in the world. I'm not recruiting an army, Abdullah. Oh, send him away, Frank. No, no, Chandu. Offer me a test to prove I do not lie. Ask me what you will. I'll ask you a question. What about my husband's ring you wore that day in the bazaar? Where did you get it? Sister of Chandu, Rapsor took it from the finger of Robert Regent. Well, you're getting down to business at last. Abdallah, when was this? Nine years. It must have been on the ship. No, but it was not long after the ship sank into the sea. Then Roxo was aboard the Athenia dot. But he wasn't in that picture in the lifeboat. Roxo did not sail on the great ship Chandu. He was to go to America with the Effendi Regent, but uh, but how do you say it? Roxo became angry. You mean they quarreled? (laughs) It must have been over that scientific discovery of Robert's. Sister of Chandu... The Effendi Regent did not know Roxor had stolen papers from him while he slept. That can't be true, Frank. I think it is, Dot. Roxor took a lot of Robert's papers before the ship sailed. And then he found out the only one he really wanted wasn't among them. I was, Chandu. So he sent you to get them. You were on the ship. I remember now. Dot, where's that picture of the men in the lifeboat? Up in my room. Shall I get it? There is no need, Chandu. It is so. I was in the boat. In the dress of your country. I had no time to steal the papers from the Effendi region before the great ship was sunk. Oh, the curse of the prophet be... Abdallah, born. you pulled Robert Regent out of the water. Where did you take him? By the mercy of Allah, I saved his life. I knew Roxo would kill me if I came to him with my hands empty. Well, this sounds like the truth, Dot. He couldn't save the papers he was after, so he thought Where that... did you take my husband, Abdallah? A very long way, sister of Chandu. It was to Algiers where Roxo was. You left him with that maniac? It is so. He knew not where he was. You mean he was ill? He didn't look ill in the picture. Tell me. Steady, Dot. All this was nine years ago. Oh, I... Where is he, Abdallah? I have not seen him since that day, Chandu. Now, 
You will believe I have finished with Roxor and wish to join you. Why? Because of Miss Betty Lou. What do you mean? She is so gentle, so beautiful, like a white flower. Is this the way you speak to her? I am a Bedouin prince. In the black tents of my people, she will be a princess. Miss Regent is not for you. If you served me a thousand years, she could never be. Don't even discuss it, Frank. Women do not understand these things, Chandu. Men should decide them, is it not so? My sister's answer and mine are the same, Abdullah. No. Ismila. But time may change your answer if Allah wills. No. So be it. But I will still serve you, Chandu. Do you doubt me now? Well, I'll make you a bargain, Abdullah. On the word of a Bedouin, I will keep it. Suppose I said to you, you may join me if you'll find out for me where Roxor's headquarters is. That no man knows. Some of his agents must know. Well, what do you say? I can only say I will do what I can. You will learn I am to be trusted. If you find out where this place is, send me a letter addressed to Shepherd's Hotel. And I am to see Miss Betty Lou before I go? No, Abdallah. She's not to know anything about this. You'll have to understand that, Abdallah. It's final. Bismillah. Sister of Chandu, may your days be filled with happiness. Goodbye, Abdallah. Abdallah. Fi aman illa. Al Allah. You will not see me until I have won your trust. Please be with you. The summons. I should get this message before he goes. Uh, wait, Abdallah. Wait. We can't be out of the house already. Abdallah! before we say good evening to suggest that you and your family listen to Chandu every weekday evening at this time. Travel with us to strange places and faraway lands and thrill with Dorothy Regent and her children, Betty and Bob, as they're plunged into the mystery and intrigue of Egypt and the Near East. And, of course, we'd like to have you use the soap we make. White King Granulated Soap. You'll love White King. Anything that can be washed, and I mean anything, may be washed with White King, with safety to fabrics, safety for colors, kindness to your lovely hands, the only hands you'll ever have. So on your radio, remember Chandu the Magician, every weekday evening at this time. And at your grocer's, remember White King Granulated Soap. No other soap is like it. You will say no other soap has ever done your work so well. Good night. Chandu the Magician is presented for your enjoyment every weekday evening. Frank Chandler is played by Tom Collins. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chandu, the magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.